First, let's speak about the iron loss coefficients. To calculate core losses in quick field, you should provide the E coefficient. Those coefficients are part of the Bertolt expression to describe iron losses as a function of frequency and the flux density. Now let's take a look at the material data provided by the manufacturer. As a sample, we will take the Arnon electrical steel. And here you can see that the manufacturer provides dependencies of the losses on frequency and flux density. Here in the Excel file you can see the same data on the plot and in the table. Each column contains the data for specific frequency and each row contains the data for specific flux density. The second table contains the same data converted to the C units. You see the flux density was converted from Gauss to Tesla and the core loss value were converted from watts per pound to the watts per meter cube. Now if you make a simple plot, you will see that in fact the dependency is not linear. The Bertotti expression is used to approximate those nonlinear dependencies. And the expression includes three terms. Each term contains coefficient, which is specific for a given material, and the combination of frequency and the flux density. And it was found that in many cases this expression is suitable to approximate the experimental data. So in quick field, instead of the large array of the experimental data, you should only type in three coefficients. So our task is to extract three coefficient from the experimental data. In general, this task is called the curve fitting and on our website you can find the free utility which is designed to automate the task automate the curve fitting. So let me show you how it works. Here is the Excel file to automate the curve fitting process. This table contains the experimental data, the losses as a function of frequency and the flux density. And, and here on the plot you can see those dependencies. And you can see they are nonlinear. Now let me first show you how to use the, the spreadsheet and then I will show you how it works. To perform the curve fitting, 
just press anchor fitting button and you can see that coefficients were calculated. The solid lines are calculated using Bertolt expression and the color dots representing the experimental data. As you can see, the approximation is quite good. So indeed, this equation is suitable to represent the experimental data. Now, about how this script works. There is the second sheet And this second sheet includes three tables. In the first table are original data, experimental data. The second table contains the equation to calculate the losses by the Bertot expression using three coefficients, using frequency and the flux density. And in the third table, the difference between experimental data and the approximated data is stored. And in this cell, the total mean squared value of the difference is calculated. This Excel file utilize the solver that builds in, in Microsoft Excel. So all we have to do is to provide material data The script automatically can detect the empty column and the empty row. And here are coefficients that you should type in quick field in order to simulate material with iron losses.